All right. Now we're doing 7Q Season 2, Calculate Julie's Age. This is by Aziza, and 90% of the people like it. So Julie is X years older than her brother, and she is also Y times as old as him. So given X and Y, we're going to calculate Julie's age using the function age, X, and Y as the arguments. Uh, so for example, 6 and 3 is going to return 9, and also X can be negative and Y can be a decimal, okay? Uh, so, anyway, let's go, let's, this, that is, Julie is 15 years younger and 0.25 times the age of her brother. Okay, I guess that's what that means. <clears throat> Pardon me. So we're not going to conserve, concern ourselves with the imperfections inherent in dividing by floating point numbers as our answers will be rounded. Also, for the sake of simplicity, Julie is never the same age as her brother. Okay. So this one's basically just using algebra, all right? So let's just set this up real quick. Const age equals x and y like this, whoops, like uh, this, and then we're just gonna turn an, this into an arrow. We don't even need to really do a console.log to test because it's, like I said, straight up algebra. So what we're gonna do here is do the whole uh, comment thing like this, and we're going to uh, figure this out using algebra. So what we know is uh, Julie is sometimes x years older than her brother. So j equals b plus x. And then also Julie is y times as old, than, as, old as him. So j equals, uh, what was it, y times b, or b times y, let's say that, b times y, okay? So inherently that means that b times y equals b plus x, because both of those equal j, right? Of course. So if we're going to be doing that, uh, let's bring over this b and get x, so we can replace the x on this one, right? So we're going to say b times y minus b equals x, right? Because we're bringing the b over to this side. And so to isolate the B, we're going to divide B out from this and from this. So we're gonna say B times Y minus one equals X. So now we know what uh, X equals, right? So now we can just plug the X right up here and say that, I guess right here we'll say J equals B plus B, uh, and then Y, B times, I should say, times Y minus 1. That works, right? That's how that works, right? We put the X here, and that's right, right? Let's see. Uh, let's put B plus B times y minus 1. Let's see if that works. x, y, x, y, x, y, x, y. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need that. We need to isolate the b. All right, so let me, let's me let back up for a second. Let's come, up, let's come back over here and say b now equals x over y minus 1. And then we'll say, let's get, this, get rid of this stuff and replace the B up here and say X, we'll say X divide, well, what am I doing? I can just, we can just do this here, copy it, paste it like that and say plus X. So this is the B and then plus X and that should work. So let's bring this up there, copy this, get rid of this, all right. Now let's test it out. All right, there we go, just like that, awesome. So let's attempt it, and just like that, and submit it. All right, and you can see right here, they did something somewhat similar. Uh, I guess they used the multiplication way instead of the addition way that we did. Same here, same here, same here, same here, same here, same here. It looks like everybody did it. Uh, one specific way and we did, it, we did it the other way, but whatever, I don't care. We still got the answer. Uh, there it is right there. Best practice in my opinion. 
very much like it. And we'll see you next time.